everyone thinks Lee Harvey Oswald killed John F. Kennedy, but is that really what happened? Consider this. Look at this woman in the pink dress. Who is she? As you can see, she was directly next to the president when he died, and you can see in this photograph that she's desperately trying to flee the scene of the crime. Who is the lady in the pink dress, and what did she do to JFK? Coming up after the break, we're talking about a newly discovered book of the Bible where Christ becomes a millionaire by selling mousetraps. So stick around. Christ was a conservative and a free market business tycoon. We've known this for centuries, and there's finally a newly discovered book of the Bible to prove it. We have Professor Larry Huffman from Oxford University here on the show, and he's going to tell us all about this new conservative book of the Bible where Christ becomes a millionaire by selling mousetraps. Larry, what can you tell us about this hidden book of the Bible? Doug, simply put, it tells the story of Jesus Christ starting a mousetrap factory and forcing his apostles to work on his assembly line so that he can become very wealthy. Wow, now that's just amazing. The left despises the idea of becoming a millionaire, but now there's a new book of the Bible where Christ owns his own factory and has huge amounts of money. Yes, this ancient gospel has remained hidden for years uh, until it was finally discovered in the back of... Read us a passage from the book. Okay. And then Christ spoke to his apostles and said, Lo, I have built a very good kind of mouse trap that everyone has to use now. Leave a fish on a plank of wood to attract the mice and then hide behind a bush for a long time. When the mice come out to eat the fish, jump out from behind the bush and quickly light the mouse on fire. That's beautiful. And you were saying earlier that Christ ends up putting the apostles to work in his mouse trap factory? That's right, Doug. This story shows how wonderful it is to put your friends to work. The apostles work grueling 12-hour shifts at Christ's mousetrap factory, putting dead fish on planks of wood. And since Christ doesn't pay the apostles, he's able to increase his profits, and he very quickly becomes the world's first millionaire from selling his mousetraps. Beautiful. Liberals are going to be losing their minds saying, oh, Jesus can't be a millionaire who wears big golden rings on his fingers. Oh, those mousetraps don't even sound like they work. Oh, I love communism. Too much to congratulate Jesus on the luxurious horse skeleton that he has bought with his mousetrap cash. Shut up. That's right, Doug. But the evidence is right here in the Bible. It's a beautiful story, Larry. Thanks for coming on the show. The fish don't just attract mice. They attract all sorts of other animals like bears and lions, and they attack and kill people, but Christ doesn't care. Great. That's all the time we have for right now. Everyone out there, keep fighting, keep questioning, and stay vigilant. 